Hi, I'm Julia Saunders, and I'm an Executive Functions Expert at Bespoke Education. I'm here today to talk to you about one of the Executive function skills, planning. I'm going to give you my top strategies that I've developed with my students in order to become more effective at completing assignments and more effective as a person in general using these planning strategies. So, my first strategy I'm going to talk to you about is how to break up a big assignment into smaller tasks and then put that in a list in order of how you need to get it done. Seems pretty straightforward. Let me just talk it through with an easy example that we'll be using throughout this series, the essay. So, a lot of times when I'm doing this with students, they think, hmm, okay, tasks for an essay. Let's see, I need to brainstorm, I need to write an outline, I need to write a draft, I need to edit, and then I have my final draft. I say not so simple. You wanna think about the tasks you put on your list being something that would take you about an hour. And for me anyways, writing a draft of an essay, especially if it's a longer essay, doesn't take an hour. So I'll have them break them up into even smaller tasks. For example, writing body paragraph one, writing body paragraph two, body paragraph three, introduction, conclusion, and then going into editing. So factoring those things in. And then once we have our list, I can use another strategy with a student called backwards planning. This is super effective. So let's say you know the due date is May 13th. You can work backwards from that date, planning each individual task so that it leads up nicely to the deadline. I encourage students to plan, let's say their last task they need to get done for a couple days before the due date in case something goes wrong, which let me tell you, it usually does. Things don't always go as we expect them to. The reason we call it backwards planning is we start from planning that and then we work backwards. So then the next task would be the day before that or a couple days before that, depending on the schedule and so on and so forth, all the way to the first task, which we plan last. It helps students know when they need to get started using this particular strategy. And something that I layer on with this strategy is not only planning which day we do these things once we have backwards planned our whole entire task list, but also setting specific times and going through a student's schedule to figure out, well, if I have an hour long task, do I have an hour on this day to actually get it done? And that being an important part of the planning, not just vaguely saying, oh yeah, I'll get it done on Monday, but actually planning which time and setting reminders for that. With those three strategies, making a list, backwards planning, and setting a time, you should be able to knock that essay out. Thank <laughs> you.